morning, Dan. It's been a while. Yeah, how are you doing? All is going well in Hebden Bridge. The summer is now over. Yeah, where have I been? I haven't made a video in a year. Terrible. We'll get into that a bit later. But first, I've just finished cleaning the bike off. I haven't used this one for a while because my, old, uh, my mountain bike is damaged at the moment. We've got to run a few errands today, so I thought I'd take you along to the next town of Todmorden and we're going to go across the moors to go and get some bread. And why am I getting bread? Because of this thing. This is my new air fryer and I thought the first thing I want to fry, bake, whatever, in this air fryer is a grilled cheese sandwich. The ultimate grilled cheese sandwich. Who's that? So that's what we're going to do. But first, let's get some coffee. That's a good coffee. Should we get going? Where have I been for the last year? Mainly, life. Life has gone in the way of these vlogs. I think it was about a year ago I made the last vlog and unfortunately, my camera of five years broke. So, I didn't have enough money to get a new camera. And uh, so, I had to stop filming for a while. And that's really it. And I've been trying to save for a camera for quite a while. You know, because I quite enjoy making these vlogs for you, Dan. Excuse me, this hill is killing me. So this is the first time I have taken the camera out, so apologies, uh, I'm not used to this camera at all. So there might be a few quirks and, and things. I don't know if the sound quality is any good, so we'll just have to see. And we've got the downhill section coming up to Todmorden, where the bakery is, and where I am gonna get this bread for the grilled cheese sandwich. The ultimate grilled cheese sandwich. Who keeps saying that? I love a gate. Hey, how's it going? Um, can I get the white in the loaf, please? Can I get one of those uh, baby brownies and I'll get one of these Parkins as well? Brilliant. Thanks so much. Thanks, bye. made it back in one piece. No idea if this has all worked, but we're time to make the ultimate grilled cheese sandwich. <sighs> Damn, to make this ultimate grilled cheese sandwich, you're gonna need some salt and butter. You're gonna need some dirty yellow mustard. Then you're gonna have to get some pickles, followed by cheese. Grated works the best. And of course, the star of the show, the bread that we got from Bait. I mean, just look at this, it's just perfection. I can't wait to taste this. So let's get rid of the crust. 
because let's face it, no one eats the crust unless it's the last thing you've got in your house. I will make a suggestion here. I've cut this a little bit too thick. Um, I would, in the next time, I would uh, cut this a bit thinner. Um, just my suggestion, really. I think it works better in the air fryer that way. But, you know, hey-ho, we'll carry on. Now it's time for the pickles. You want to get cornichons if you can, uh, just because I feel like they are a little sweeter and they work better. Also, slices, sliced pickles would work better. But, you know, I couldn't find any in the shop, so this is all I had. What's the best thing America's given us? New York style yellow mustard. Now you want to uh, give this a generous spreading across all four slices of bread. Make sure that it's covered evenly. This is going to give your sandwich a nice, sweet, sharp taste. Time to load this sandwich up with your grated cheese. Load it up. It's going to be messy. It's going to get everywhere. But you know, it's a rustic affair today. Time to put the pickles on. Again, make sure that they're all in and you're on the home straight. I mean, you're nearly done. Just put the lids on. Just make sure that the mustard is facing into the sandwich. And then just give it a good old press down just to make sure that it all stays together, ready for the next stage. It's time to get a little bit messy. So clean the work surface and then it's time to slap on the butter. Cover this really evenly. I haven't done the best job. And Dan, if you master the butter knife, you will be rewarded with the crispiest, the crunchiest grilled cheese sandwich ever. Now just repeat this on the back side of your sandwich and you're ready to go. At this point, the oven should be preheated, so just slam it in. I'm gonna set this to about 200 degrees Celsius for four minutes. And now it's time to start the magic. You're halfway through, so pull them out. Look at that. Time to flip them, put them back in for another four minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. That bleep means it's time to eat. Look at that. That just looks incredible. Some say you should be hanging this in the Louvre, but oh no, not today. We're gonna be eating this straight away but now listen to the crunch oh and the gooey magic is happening wonderful gooey salty and sweet this is the ultimate grilled cheese sandwich and i will see you hopefully next week if i can get off my ass and do another video for you cha-ching oh so good Ultimate, ultimate, ultimate. <laughs> <laughs>